later on goes behind here and it comes up and comes in this way. So up here I have a another 175 amp fuse and that's the fuse that I will have on the main switchboard and I put that to the working amperage that I'm gonna work with. I will never go over 175 amps in my calculations on how much wattage I will be using and if I do I want this one to trip and if anything fails or if that doesn't trip the actual 200 amp DC fuse should trip instead. So that then comes into another split. Then, then that's the live that comes down to another set of isolation switches so that I can disconnect one of the motors very simply if I want to by just turning these off and that is for mainly maintenance. You have the same kind of cables coming in from the 